And so we just want to pass back the room content with the other stuff that we have. And then inside that same render strategy, so now that we have a player, we're always going to use that guy to draw our status bar. And whenever we get a game response back, we want to set that singleton My goodness, there's still nine of you out there checking this out. So you guys have gotten to see the full the full Monty, as it were. So what we've done, if this works. Oh, hang on. We just had it working and it stopped working. I think that's because room content. No, that works. All right, so let's look at server. We run the server. We start the client. I'm going to our render strategy. Gary. Okay. Hang on. So now that we're sending back the, the room content, we're finding that we really want all of our monsters and townspeople to also be serializable. Okay, so the joys of network programming. So we start up our server, we start up our client, we see that if we get a connection from our client, we type in Gary, we get our response back, so we're actually going across the wire to our server, it's interpreting our command, it's processing it, and it says, hey, I found your guy. I found Gary. Oh, and we don't actually have a game command set up for login. So let's fix that real fast. You guys are troopers out there hanging in just the the knitting. So in the case game action login. And we'll do yellow. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say that pretty much if it's look at or log in for this case this case statement we're going to do that then we're going to come back over to our hive mind
Oops. I'm going to set request is equal to. What should we gotten? Yes, yeah, so the request that came in. So we're just making sure these things are going to be fully formed. Knit, knit, knit. Okay. Start up that server. Type in our name. We go across the wire over to the server. We get back our stuff. We want to come in here to our render that says what's successful. It was. Switch on the login. Foreground color yellow. Replace line message. Reset color and break. Draw status bar. Dark gray. Hit points are 14. Stamina is 20. Reset color and continue. Okay, so we didn't draw the world, but we did get, we got a little bit further, right? So we got a little bit of issue with how we're, we're drawing things out. So if it's a login, we want to do game engine dot render dot draw room. That's going to take in our game response dot room content. We're going to pull this out because I think I think we're actually grooving now. Okay, so we set up our server. We come over here, we'll start our client. So the client says, Hello. Who are you? I'm Gary. Boom. Okay. We can finally, man, this is a, uh, this is a nearly three hour stream. I think. Yeah. So, uh, but we 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 did it. We've got a server set up that can answer, that can take in requests and can display back out on the console and then wait for further commands. Now it doesn't actually have anybody inside the targets are also here. We can figure that out. But what happens if we we're gonna try to break it here? We're gonna check in after this regardless. But let's close this and close that. And we're going to check this in in just a second, but we're going to run the server and come back over here to our client, to our bin, and let's go ahead and spool up a client and another client. So this is, this is really what we were after this entire time. We went to something to where we could say, hey, we've got a server, it's taking in multiple connections, and now we've got two people being asked to log in. And so if I say, hey, my name is Gary, it comes back, and so I've logged into the game. I'm, getting, I'm, I'm, I'm being shown here that the request was received, and I sent back some bytes to the client. I'm displaying that here. If I come back in, and I also come here and say, I'm Beth, then I can also say, welcome to the game, Beth. Welcome to the game, Gary. So we got to do some more checking, but we have now refactored our game quite extensively to go from a console application and with the help of singletons we've been able to hook in our hive mind into a server and our rendering engine into a client this is big stuff and it wasn't it wasn't necessarily easy to get here right but we've got some things that we want to be able to like we don't want two people to be able to log in as gary we want to be able to draw the people that are in your room. So we've gotten to the point now, and then eventually we want to be able to move around the map. So we are quite to the place where we can actually do game rules and mechanics and, and timers and such, but we're getting suspiciously close to a point where we can have more than one person come into the game and exist in the same room 
and maybe even chat back and forth. So let's go and end that there because that is that is awesome. Um, so we'll say. Day two, things work. The best is yet to come. Ooh. All right, so that's out there. So officially, if you wanted to go ahead and run out to the, the NuGet and grab that code and see what we're doing, you can things work. All right, so that was the singleton pattern and a big refactor to kick off our, our second semester. Um, I'll keep playing out the format. This will probably be the longest week as far as the video length. Moving forward, we'll be right back to where we were before in terms of taking an hour here or there and applying patterns and see where they work. This was just a, a, a big effort to get this thing to the point where it could be a multi-user dungeon and, and we're there so if you stuck with it applaud yourself because in the first semester plus this week we've been able to go from a few lines of code and a few classes to a multi-user networked gaming environment and that is nothing to sneeze at all right so i'm going to go ahead and start rattling and start shutting down i will let the twitch chat catch up i want to say Thanks everybody for coming out. Everyone from, uh, from Belgium to uh, to right here in the United States, Mystical Puka. I, I wish you the best of luck in your game. It's getting late for me, but I will check out your your channel and your videos. So I think that's pretty that's pretty right up my alley. I think we're we're working in the same space as far as classes and and role playing. Um, to everybody else who came out, thanks for joining me, and I will, as usual, give a wave at the very end. I'll start to shut down.